Can you imagine what it's like to have to flee your home, your family and friends and seek safety and sanctuary elsewhere? That's the experience of 43 million children who've had to leave their homes because of war, terror or famine. I believe that art can help people connect and empathize with that experience. So those of us who've never had to lose those things can help other people get the support and welcome that they need. The No Place Like Home art competition is your chance to be part of changing those minds and hearts. We'd love to see your artwork or your poetry. So if you've got pencils or pens or paintbrushes or crayons or charcoal, or even a graphic design program, we'd love to see your pieces of art. Or maybe you're better with words. We'd love to see your short poems help people connect with the experiences of refugee children around the world. Refugee and displaced children face very different circumstances. Some have been living in refugee camps since they were born. Others have been forced to flee their homes as teenagers. I came to the UK as a refugee two years ago. I am grateful for the support I've had from my new school friends. But I really miss my friends and family in Ukraine. I hope that one day it will be safe for me to go home. I can't even imagine what that is like as I have lived in this refugee camp in Kenya since the day I was born. My favorite part of day is drinking tea at bedtime. It reminds me of my home in Afghanistan. When I'm older, I want to help build a world where children like me don't have to flee their homes to find somewhere safe to live. We're delighted to be working with the British Library and our panel of celebrity and expert judges to find the best piece of artwork in the United Kingdom. And that will be proudly displayed in the British Library during National Refugee Week. You can help change the minds and hearts of our nation and maybe even the rest of the world. So please enter it. We're looking forward to thousands of entries from across the United Kingdom. So good luck and I look forward to seeing what you produce.